trade ideas. I'll be helping out in the chat panel with your questions, as along with Barry Einerson and Brad Williams. Your host will be Dan Merkin. I'm sure Dan and Brad will interact somewhat during the presentation. Before we get started, uh, quick housekeeping questions for you all. Uh, this helps us craft these webinars uh, to have the best impact with our customers. Um, are you an active trade ideas subscriber? You see that question on your um, screen right now. Please select it if you have an active subscription or if you do not. And I'll leave this open long enough to let most of you vote. Yeah, by letting us know how many active subscribers we have in each of these webinars, it lets us know how to tune the webinar and uh, which subjects to cover. Um, all right, looks like almost everyone's voted. So let me share that with the room here. And uh, this is not uncommon uh, for the QA webinar. It's a majority client, so uh, there's some uh, attendees that have not yet subscribed to us. Uh, hopefully, we can change their mind during the presentation. Um, Oh, this is mostly an educational webinar. Um, do you own the odds maker or uh, the odds maker and the AI access license? You can vote for that. It's the same thing to our customers. If you have purchased the odds maker, you have access to AI. Uh, we're beginning a little bit of shift in what we're calling it with more focus on the AI and less on the odds maker, although the odds maker is still a very important tool for uh, traders who like to really get into their strategies and understand what's making them work or what's holding them back. All right, thanks for voting. So it looks like we have a slight majority of odds maker AI owners in the room and uh, half of you. Well, you're going to have a good opportunity to get the odds maker or the AI at a really great rate today. So I've got a surprise for you all. Stick around toward the end. And uh, without any further ado, I will uh, turn you over to Dan's good hands. I think you're still on mute there, Dan. So unmute yourself. And I'll check in. Hi, Scott. Later. How are you? Good. Thank you for the introduction and I want to thank everybody for coming out to our Wednesday Q&A webinar. Brad, how are you? Are you? Is your uh, volume up and working? Good afternoon, Dan. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I don't see anything on your screen yet, but uh, uh -huh. nice to hear you. Well, thank you for that. How about now? Voila. See, we work together. <clears throat> okay, everyone. Uh, very excited about today, a lot of good stuff to show you, a lot of questions to be answered. So this is our weekly Q&A uh, webinar. We have these because the technology that we're bringing to market is kind of advanced and it's very good for our customers to be able to interact with us on a personal level to know what we're doing, um, how they can access the best out of the technology for, their, for what they need. Before we begin, we have to give the standard disclaimer that Trade Ideas is not a registered investment advisor. All the information that we provide is for educational and informational purposes only. Okay, so I'm going to uh, minimize the slide. And Brad, will you let me know, is everyone able to see my screen? Yeah, it looks good to me. Okay. so. For those of you that don't know Trade Ideas, the two-second high-level um, overview is that we are an exploration engine for investments. We crunch a lot of data in a way that you can't at home, and companies most likely can't even do it in their facilities. Um, and we come up with concepts that we then test statistically to see if they can actually you know, be traded. And we present the most interesting opportunities to our clients in the markets. We do this through various channels. And you can kind of see on the left-hand side, you have this ability to really peruse different aspects. And I'm going to do that towards the end. Um, one of the biggest things that we've been doing for the last year is creating and actually launching an artificial intelligence engine. Uh, we call her Holly, as in Holly Grail for short, and the idea is actually kind of important to talk about, Brad, and I think, you know, um, th there's a little bit of a philosophical thing that I want to make sure everyone here understands. So we, we as a company, Trade Ideas, we're obsessed about 
making investors better, about succeeding in the markets in a way that most people can never even dream about. But with that obsession comes the reality of what we deal with, which is a environment, a large data environment, a changing environment that isn't easy to predict. If it was easy to predict, I can assure you that everybody would be doing it. You guys have probably all read that most hedge fund managers this year are down quite a bit. And we're talking about people with billions of dollars access for research, for R&D and for things like that. So understand, you know, the, the market, you know, it's not this thing that can just, you know, instantly, you know, make magic money. You have to do a lot of work to figure out what it is and what isn't working. And what we do in our data facility through this AI channel is we offload some of that in, to our servers. We did this because for over the last 10 years, you know, we've created these windows where you can see kind of any information that you want. Okay, and I'm gonna, uh, let's see here, I'm gonna open up a window that I was using just to demonstrate something here real quick. Okay, so, whoops, let me do that again. New alert window, and I'm going to my recent settings. By the way, if anyone can Don't do forget that, to like, double click the end. Yes, the end. Uh, yes, Brad. Thank you. Or so hit the load setting button. Thank you so much. Load settings. Well, this is a QA webinar for everybody. Yeah. Listen, I, if you know that I'm like the best mistake maker out there. Okay. So our software um, allows you to find these interesting setups. And in this case, I call this the run. It was just stocks that were kind of like what's called on a run. I believe in this case, I was making like um, a 50-day high. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of go back and see if we can see what all of it looked like. So what makes our software really different, and, and the reason, you know, there's many of you guys that, uh, you know, that are long-term customers of ours, but I want to make you understand something. You know, Holly Grail, as a name, is, is a play on words because obviously, you know, we like the whole notion of cute feminine names like Siri and Holly sounds good. But Holly Grail is making fun of the fact that people want a Holy Grail. And there is no such thing. Because again, if there was, Goldman Sachs would have it and it would be moot and it wouldn't work anymore. There's no Holy Grail in the markets. So what we do is we're trying to find what it is that's working using artificial intelligence. But here's the kicker, okay? And this is what makes this so important. So I can run, you know, our odds maker. And you know you you can test any uh, idea that you want. And again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time configuring this option. But the idea is that you can take any alert and test it. Okay, test to see how does this uh, event do in the market by itself. Okay, and what's interesting is this event right here that I that I just made for you actually doesn't do that bad all by itself. This is what's called a pretty good base strategy. But now comes the really, really, really important part that I want all of you to understand. And this is probably, Brad, I would say this is the nuance that makes such the critical difference. And, you know, when you guys are watching this information um, in our chat room that Barry Einerson leads or, or you're watching it, you know, on your own, understand this. So we've made some comparisons to the artificial intelligence engine that IBM used called Watson that beat that guy on Jeopardy and it's been very much talked about and there's a lot of things that IBM is trying to do um, with Watson. And by the way, it doesn't really work the way you think. Um, Watson's a cool gimmick. Okay? But the reason Watson is cool and the reason it was able to beat that guy, Ken Jennings, I believe. And Brad, this is the coup d'etat. You know, I know you're waiting for this because you're wondering, where the hell is he going, right? <laughs> but this is the coup d'etat. When, when Watson is asked a question, and this is important for this uh, webinar, when Watson is asked a question, um, you know, what is or, you know, whatever it is that, that the Jeopardy question is, and it goes through these millions of things to look at, right? Those things aren't moving. 
You know, when it's uh, searching through Socrates, uh, you know, volumes, the text in those volumes, they always stay the same. Every single time you read Moby Dick, Moby Dick is identical. It never changes, okay? But what we do, what Holly has to deal with, is that every time she looks at a pattern, the, the thing that then she analyzes to, to try to match it is always changing and always moving. And that's, Brad, what I really want people to appreciate that's happening. I mean, it's a huge difference. It's like, you know, th there's not a single thing that, that we are attempting to find that isn't trying to run away from us. Okay? And we are using the best technology in the world for this search to find what's working. By the way, Brad, do you like this as a new base strategy? That's a very good base strategy, actually. Thank you. Uh, I, Brad, I will save this to you, and I'll show you how to do it. So here, I have the strategy called the run, and I'm going to go to real time. I'm going to right-click. I'm going to click Save and Share to Cloud, Save and Share, Copy, and I will then Skype this to... Um, Brad, who will now be able to access uh, this information uh, for the AI. But not only that, of course, I will also uh, provide a cloud link to everybody who wants to check this strategy out um, who is or isn't a subscriber. So the point is, so this strategy that we just did and we just ran, I mean, those odds are pretty good, right? But you still wouldn't want to be trading odds that are just 50%. So what we do in the background, and this is the, mo the coolest innovation we think that there is right now, is we have our artificial intelligence engine, Holly, work this odds maker to find strategies that are doing the best. Okay, so I'm going to scooch these performance metrics over. Um, and so after yesterday's trading day, okay, and what I'm kind of explaining here is how the AI works. So we have like roughly 35 strategies, and there's, uh, I think there's an even amount of long and short strategies. And the AI goes through, and it runs those odds makers, and it's constantly looking to see what's going on, and these were all the strategies that made it. Now it has a cutoff. So because we've had it out for a couple of days, and there's been some days where you know, the AI was spitting out like 50 uh, signals, and we knew that people couldn't follow that. Um, so we've been, and, we, and it was always our intent to create technology that isn't like an HFT trader, but on the contrary, like a human. So here is what, what's happening. So today, Holly had one, two, three, four, five, six strategies running. They were all long because only the long strategies had these uh, performance rates for her to make it. By the way, we are, Brad, I think we're updating that so that the worst, from now on, there will always be one uh, counter strategy, whichever one is the worst, and of course people will have an option to play it or not play it. So with that in mind, so out of these strategies, we had one uh, strategy that didn't perform well at all. We had two, actually two strategies that didn't perform well at all, and then uh, the other ones that kind of did okay. But they, the more active ones were the ones, uh, well, yeah, the more active ones were the ones that, that didn't uh, uh, produce the best results. But we're going to talk about all these trades because the other thing that we want to make sure you guys know is that this AI, again, is meant as a data feed and not as a uh, magic money-making egg. Now, we're trying to get it as close, of course, as possible, right? But since that doesn't exist, even with the odds like this, so here you can see. So this strategy, support is that U under 20, kind of ran exactly like the historical. So that was really good. So 60% win rate, and here it had a 100% win rate, only one trade, but it was 100% win rate. Here we had three trades, 66% win rate, but very small uh, wins per strategy. And here we had one losing trade, and here we had two losing trades, which again, this happens. Um, you know, this is how the real life works. And my goodness, I mean, the stock market is this place where we have the ability to definitely make the kind of money you cannot make anywhere else, but people come up to us and, you know, 
for the amount of money that you spend on like you know three nice bottles of wine, which is what we cost, you know you're basically want the equivalent of a Harvard based law degree where you finished in the top one percent of your class. I get it. Um, I do. And we want the same thing. We are all on the same team. But you have to have realistic expectations in, in, in the sense that there is no predictability. The future is unknown. The best that we can do is play the numbers. And with trade ideas, you have the best ability in the world to do that. So what I want to do now, Brad, is I kind of want to go through the trades so that everyone can see what it is that the AI was trying to do so that you can understand well, why did these trades make it in the first place? Because one of the things that we want to do is we want you to see what's happening. We want you to understand what the AI is thinking. So let's, uh, Brad, how does that sound? Uh, good quick segue? Yeah, I think that's good. There are only a few trades, so it should yeah, be really easy to go through them. Right. Only, only a few. Okay, so here we go. Let's start with uh, the first one, which I believe started at 8.16. So one of the things that's nice here um, is that notice the times. Okay, you know, we're specifically avoiding the open because, again, it's very tricky not only to execute, but a lot of people work and there's kids. And, you know, we're trying to create technology that works around you. So here our first trade started almost two hours after the market opened. I mean, I'm sorry, not, it was, was it? No. It yeah, no, actually didn't. Why don't you sort it on entry time right there? Yes. Sorry. Sorry, Brad. I think you had it by profit. Yeah, sometimes I'm like, I just gravitate towards the game. <laughs> that's what my one. eyes like. My eyes like games. Okay, so here we go. First trade, Oxy. Um, let, let's take a look real quick. I'm going to just kind of blow it up. Okay, so you can understand what it was trying to do. So the entry, okay was at 77.32. The entry was literally like right here. So it was basically thinking, at least in, attempting to think, that this was going to be, you know, it, it, it was here before, it kind of consolidated, made a move, and now it's making a move again. It looked like to the AI that this was going to continue. And again, why not? The future, of course, was unknown, but that makes sense to us as a... Uh, you know, as a trader, why you possibly would think that, especially since, and here's the important part that, you know, we're trying to communicate, right? Um, Holly came up with that after the statistics for nice chart. So the nice chart has fantastic uh, statistics. Um, nice chart has a 68% success rate and 2.45 profit factor. Why not? Um, I would do the exact same thing. Well, it's interesting, Dan. You know, I was I was watching the market at that time, and I was watching that trade come through. And you know, there was some interesting pressure that was inherent in the market at that time. It was really under um, some solid bearish conditions. Far more, you know, I was looking at the compare account window, the visualization window that shows bulls versus bears, and boy, the bears were very, very solid and in control at that time. No, I absolutely, and and this is why I noticed. Like, I'm also trying to show people kind of like how my, I myself as a professional, like how do I use our own technology? Because I use it every day. I also trade. And as a CEO, part of the reason why I do trade is so that I can maintain a connection to our technology. And I, by the way, have been doing this for like 20 years. So, you know, it, it's very comfortable for me. And so I, I, I see the same thing. Like, look at, you know, what, what we've had. There's also an issue of, like, here we are. We happen to be trading at this time where their main, you know, as the market tries to figure out if it's going to go higher and break out or retrace, this is some of the hardest kind of, like, digestive times where you really don't know what's going on. You, their main, there is not, you, you can't always, um, push the statistics, and that's what I'm saying. Even the best card counters in Vegas, they themselves, you know, you can be, you can have the perfect count, but that doesn't exactly mean the deck will play the way um, you think it will. So what I'm trying to say is it's the best that you can do, and so this Oxy trade, again, ended up being a 42 cent uh, loser by the way the AI has it displayed. It would have actually probably been a 66% loser because that was our time stop, a uh, smart stop. I want to put that. So here's the other thing. You know, when trade ideas um, 
puts you in a trade. Every single trade has a custom stop area specifically for um, specifically for this trade. So this one was 66 cents. Um, let's look at another one. So the next one came in 14 minutes later, AXON. Okay, so this is another interesting example where you can see what the AI was thinking. Okay, so here, I mean, this is literally out of, right out of, when of course you can see why. It's right out of our um, trade of the week kind of algorithm. This is what you want to see. You want to see this kind of like basing pattern, right, and then a move to try to break out complete and, and 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 in this case, the breakout was actually at the right price. You know everything about to me like 18.32 is kind of a, a a great level. I mean you're that you're was a good price, price on a nice pullback right there. Right. So and you know the, and and the stock pulled back quite a bit. And here's the thing, guys, that happens. If anything, so what you do as a subscriber of trade ideas, you're like okay. I should make a symbol list with, you know, the AI trades that have been coming across. You can do that very easily by, Brad, you probably have to remind me. <laughs> yeah. Hello, where did you go? Symbol list, creator. Brad, is the software it's Probably agency. on your TV. Oh, you're right. Okay, sorry, y'all. Um, Brad is correct. I have three monitors of which um, one is turned off, so bear with me. Um, but, but the point, again, is uh, let's go to the next one. So this one, almost, again, a very similar type of concept. And we have discussed this almost at infinity, right? So this is trying to say that this is a trend change. We've come down, we've stabilized, and today again, just because it pulled back does not mean that this move is over. We could very easily see this stock again. And in this particular case, and here, here's the interesting one about this one. So this one, uh, ZFGN, we entered it at um, 1295. It actually afterwards, so the stop out was at this candle because we had had I don't know. Barry was talking about it today in the room too. Uh, Brad, do you know why we have a twenty cent stop on there? That, I mean, it is a bug. It's just well, no. It, the reason is that we haven't yet fully incorporated the smart stop in it. And yes, we could we could ratchet that up. But at the same time, we're trying to get our development team to incorporate the smart stop so that we have a little better logic with respect to the exit. Yeah. So. That 20 was somewhat arbitrary, so that became a 20 cent loser. You actually would have stayed in if you were at the smart stop amount. And this stock, and, and I traded it, and, and Barry and myself and a few others in the room today were discussing them. Here, I'm going to bring this up a little bit. That I mean, this one traded all the way up to here, and I got out like somewhere at 328. You know, these are five minutes, so you can think like. Oh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, I mean, just a little bit over, an hour and change into the trade. Uh, and you were up a very nice amount. So for a lot of people, well, for myself, this one proved to be a, uh, actually a profitable trade. So the AI did really well. The next one was probably one of the best ones of the day for the AI. Um, so this is Time Warner. And again, let's look at the big picture so that you guys can see what it is that, that it's trying to do. So here, Time Warner had this massive move down. Okay? And stabilized and made a, a, a big turnaround. Okay? And the software, so again, let's let's look at why, you know, we're in this trade. Nice chart. And I want to remind you here, I mean, this is just the name because we're saying, hey, this looks like a nice chart if you can catch it. These types of moves over the last uh, however many days, Brad, we've been testing were 68%, 68.4% successful. So that's why Time Warner was, was traded. It, you know, this stock fit the pattern recognition. The software got into it right here. Okay, and literally this one was like definitely one of the ones that you would call like the perfect trade. Okay, so you get into it at 744 and then um, 
the it was actually a short term signal. I believe it was like for an hour or something. So the exit was like at 390 something, and I stayed in that thing to like 170, and it pulled all the way back. So I mean, again, this is where you as a person uh, have some discretion, and this was one that for sure Barry and myself we all talked about um, in the room because this was just like there was no pullback. You there was no issue, no pullback, and 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 this was the smart stop. Um, one of my favorite trades, and and what I'm trying to showcase here is this connect that I want you guys to make. Um, the connection um, that, see, the software is trying to find this trend change, and that's, what, or at least in this case, and that's why we are getting into this strategy. And, and, and it's not arbitrary. It's based on these numbers. Okay, so next one that we got into. So as, as we said before, I mean, again, you have give and take, but this one was over a point winner. Um, this one was a really nice one for me. Um, the next one was CSFL. Let me uh, bring that one in. Okay, so this one, so this this is a a really a, what I kind of call a cool uh, looking chart because this strategy was one that um, Brad and I made after we had noticed that that when we had the other strategies in the AI. We realized that, again, and we had said this before in a lot of our marketing meetings, when we were launching the AI, and you guys are all, the AI is not out yet, it's in beta. So everybody here who's on it um, has a, uh, you know, this is software that's changing all the time. And we specifically were saying that we're going to be, new versions are coming out, all things, you know, uh, are in flux. But... At the same time, the uh, stuff that we had put out there, I mean, it caught some amazing things, but it was also really, really designed as just something that was catching breakouts that were going, you know, it's like buying new highs and hoping they work or selling new lows and hoping they work. And we realized that that was kind of difficult for the AI to do because you're forcing it to, do, to, to be good at just the best things ever. It's like only shooting. So we created a strategy called... Um, the support is that you, where basically a stock is at a support level, and this was the level 520, and we and and it, and it's an inflection point, statistical inflection point that again uh, has uh, you know a 60% success rate, and that's why the software bought it, and um, and this is what the trade. And Dan, that, that was a valid opportunity. I took the time to take a look at the time in sales, and, and while that does look like just a wick, it did trade down there. And it did oh, give I, me time to get I was in this one. Yeah, I, I really tried to do every single poly trade today, and, and, and it was cool. I mean, that, that, that's what we're trying to say is that we're looking to... Uh, you know, we're looking to, to just... Play the statistics. So um, the next one that came along did not work out, and, and but but again you can see what it was trying to do, you know. And this one's called the big box. So these are going to be different types of stocks. Is looking for you know the idea is that somebody you know wanted to put some big size on. I think it's like twenty or thirty thousand something like that. Um, so here bought it at nineteen fourteen was the entry. Uh, Signal, and the stop on this was uh, let's see what 25 cents. So notice that the, so one of the really cool things that we're doing here with the AI is that it's a numbers game, um, and to do it right, you really have to have two things. Number one, you have to be playing the odds, which is what we're doing. You have to give it enough time to work, and it's a numbers game. So we we for us for trade. I is we believe we, we are here providing you the most important answers to the most important questions, which is, well, what, what could I be trading with statistics behind it, and what's my risk? Those are the two of the keyest things that you can have from a trading platform vendor, and I believe that nobody else provides it. You know, we give you a entry, we give you a exit, it and we give you a stop. And that's putting our technology on the line because, you know, everyone is saying how 
market can't be predicted and it's efficient. And by the way, again, there is an incredible amount of efficiency in the market. So, um, Scott, I think this is a good segue. Why don't we uh, take a small break, uh, let you kind of talk a little bit about the, um, the business marketing end of it. And yeah. Brad and I will come back and uh, answer yeah. questions. We'll give we'll you... Yep. Park it on number three there, just so I can speak about our pricing schedule a little bit. And then I'll let you all come back on to answer questions. And then I'll thank everyone with our special offers for today. Uh, and I've got some exciting stuff coming up, too. Um, so, you know, Trade Ideas, we're a software as a service company. Uh, we operate on a subscription model, uh, offering our services on a monthly and annual basis. Uh, we also have a single purchase license uh, that we used to just call the odds maker because that's what it brought into. Now it's also the AI channel. It also brings the odds maker and all the power of the odds maker with it as well. So you get both the AI channel and full access to the odds maker for a flat eleven hundred dollar uh, license uh, cost. It lets you the AI channel, of course, as you see, lets you find trades that are performing in the market right now. Uh, the odds maker, if you've seen demonstrations of that before or even used it yourself, you understand that it lets you back test the entire market and and, and optimize your strategies. Uh, no programming required. You can just you can look at the entire universe of stocks or a stock list, anything you want. Uh, it's a really, really powerful tool. So that is that includes the AI channel. It's a one-time fee. The other ones are subscription-based. So we have the monthly at 99 per month, and the annual saves quite a bit at 888 per year. And uh, these automatically renew unless you cancel. There's no contract, so it's really easy to try us out in the monthly and then upgrade to annual. Uh, the uh, subscriptions include all of your real-time data unless you are a professional trader. If you're trading other people's money on a Series 7, well, then you need to contact us and we just have you fill out a little different paperwork and you have to uh, pay the exchanges directly rather than uh, us rolling your exchange fees into your subscription. It also, of course, brings you the new charting that we just debuted in July and you get the full hour of one-on-one -on -one training. As soon as you sign up with Trade Ideas, go to the support page, click on training, and fill it out so you can get in queue to get your hour of power support training. It also lets you test the back the back testing tool, so you can try the odds maker. You cannot test the AI without purchasing the AI and odds maker for the 1100, but you can test out the odds maker interface uh, for several tries with the monthly or annual plan. So I'm going to go ahead and let Dan and uh, Brad come back in here and answer all of your questions. Uh, I'll come back on in a little bit uh, at the end of the meeting. So hang in there for it. Thanks. Thank you, Scott. Really appreciate that. Okay, so um, <clears throat> a couple of things. So these windows, so right now I'm showcasing the AI channel, okay? And uh, there, there's, again, there. this is a brand new release that just went out, um, I believe, yesterday. But tomorrow, Thursday, there's already a new release coming out, and I'm going to give you guys a quick peek and give you a reason to get on this um, right now. So this is how we're changing uh, the AI. So you've got, you're have got you going to have the profit graph on the left-hand side, but you have the profit, the total profits, the open profits, and the closed profits that are going to be up top. So you, you kind of have a lot of good summary elements. So this is what should be coming uh, tomorrow in the build that we have. Um, you know, we're, we're here to completely change the frontier of investing. You know, um, we already believe that we're the most compelling uh, offering in fintech because we give you the charting, but, but the most important thing is the real-time data analysis. And the AI really kind of finishes to where we think that there's, again, we believe that nobody competes with us. No Bloomberg, no nothing, you know. Um, and for the price that we, that people pay for our technology, there's just nothing that compares. Again, we, it, it's the data, it's the fact that we designed it all from scratch ourselves. It's, it's the thing that we're the most excited about. Um, but however, you know, the AI is not the only thing that, that's available to you, which is why I have these two windows here, okay? that I um, am always looking at all throughout the day, and I discuss these windows with uh, Barry in the whole room. 
And j just the other thing that I wanted to make sure you know is that when you're with Trade Ideas, I mean, we feel like we're the best at the full incubation. You know, when you sign up and you become a client of ours, like uh, Scott said, you instantly get that one-on-one -on -one training with Jamie, and then we also obviously offer up uh, all sorts of support where there's uh, um, office hours with Jamie and all sorts of hand-holding that we do. But then um, on every if you go to the bottom of the channel bar, we have our trading room where literally almost all of the most advanced users of the software are, are working together to constantly, you know, um, see how they can help each other capture alpha. So you're never alone. You know, you're never sitting there saying, "Oh, how do I use this? What's going on?" There's this const there's this whole incub uh, um, an incubation tank and community that helps you through it. But the reason I'm saying all of this is that I trade the AI, but I also trade around the AI. So one of the things that I want to uh, show you, for example, is that um, so here you can be in like AXON. Here's a stock, right? And uh, the AI gets you here, and then we exit. Let's say whatever, 36 or 20 cents. But what if you pull it up later on that day, uh, and you see like, wow, this thing is coming down. And you say, okay, well, you know what? Maybe this trend, this uh, Fib Wave 79 that uh, Dan or that the AI was trying to do, maybe that will still work. This trend looks like it's completely intact. So all you need is a little bit upward momentum in the market, and this thing looks like it will probably go. So that's how I do this. I make number one, I make mental notes, I, I create symbol lists, and um, the AI can be used as a literal, but also as a figurative way to trade around. And then I have these two windows. And these two windows, in my opinion, are some of the most powerful windows that I've completely designed with our own custom stuff. They have some of our more interesting uh, data points, like the percentage of flow traded uh, combined with 30-minute efficiency. And let me show you what the kind of names that you're going to see here and why, again, this is the technology you need to be uh, viewing. So here, you've got LITB. Um, this is a perfect example of the kind of trend change that we are looking for. And, 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 and they're all, and again, and they're similar. You know, and we want you to kind of see that these are patterns that we want to be taking advantage of. Because here it's almost like, you know, if you imagine a trampoline, right? You can bounce up and you have the highest point is when you're at the peak of your point in the air. And when you bounce, you know, the trampoline goes down and then it springs you up. Well, these are, we look at these as kind of springs, right? And look at this LITB, look at this move off the bottom here. So we're definitely looking at that. Um, let's look at uh, this one, okay? This, this one was trying to make it, but it didn't. It was just... It came up because of the, um, the efficiency factor. It's trying. It's at a support level. And again, you know, if you play these, I mean, you're talking about possibly a hundred percent or you know, thirty or forty percent. This is what these kind of stocks do. Let's look at NEF. Same kind of thing. So here is one you definitely want to be watching this because if this thing gets above 665, my goodness, it's going to run. Um, and this is how we train the AI by, again, having the AI analyze these patterns. Um, another example of one that could be getting ready, but not yet. It just, it's just trying. You know, and all we want to do is be, have this be brought up to our attention. This is definitely one that we've been watching since this uh, trend change. And then the consolidated, and this one was a perfect one. I mean, we we have brought up LINC uh, several times on the Q and A webinar. Uh, let's look at BBLT. Let me go back. Okay, so BBLT is one that's been traded. My goodness, um, everybody knows. I mean, uh, been one of the more exciting day trading stocks. And here, you know, it's had one, two, kind of three. It needs a little more work, but again, above 648, you could see a huge pop. And and, and I keep these um, 
you know, I, I keep these in front of me all the time. So when I'm looking at the AI, then I'm constantly jockeying for position between these and seeing how the different ways to sort. And I remember I've talked about sorting the data. So I look at the small flows, um, IMMY, and see, like, oh, look at this stuff. It's got a 4 million share float. It's in the biotech uh, space. And look at that. It's coming off of support. You know, put it in a symbolist. So one of the things that we're doing right now, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that we're working on, uh, you know, to help you guys get the most out of this technology. One of them is the immediate ability to add symbols to a favorite symbolist, like you're putting a heart on it uh, with Twitter. The other thing that we're going to do, guys, is the thing that I'm doing right now, and this is going to be so cool, is that you're going to be able to do exactly this, right click or some other click, and set an alert for a price for this stock. So this can, so you can then have your own my signal alerts and say, you know, I am in my my long entry 6:34. You know, so you can constantly be sitting there and setting yourself up with your own uh, AI, so to speak, based on your own pattern recognition. But you know that what you want to see, you just don't have to. You can just go quickly, say right here, and then you know, and then forget about it. So this is the one, and, and uh, the thing that I wanted to say was that I, of course, um, every one of these windows is going to be given to you if you subscribe, and um, if you're already a customer and you want these specific ones, we will, of course, share them with you. Okay. So I am constantly you know, going through these stocks, depending on what's going on, to see where is something that has the most interesting situation for me. And then I add them to my symbol list. And again, Jamie and everybody else and Barry, we teach you how to, how to do this. Um, Brad, are there any questions that, you know, that we have not uh, answered? I, up till now, no. They're all, they've all been answered. I do see a couple coming through here. But I think, Dan, I, just to point out, you know, those two top list windows, those windows with the T in the upper left, it really goes a long way to show you how trade ideas differs from other providers of trading technology. I mean, we create new data points and allow you to manipulate those data points. Um, fields that just aren't present in other uh, providers, such as relative volume, how much does the stock move over 30 minutes, what's the position in its year range, all of these are very unique data points that, that we allow you to manipulate and that the AI engine also uses when creating and defining a strategy. Yeah, um, I mean, I I know I've said this, Brad, so many times when I do the QA webinar, but you know we've been doing this technology for since 2003 is when we started the company, and I've always been excited about the potential. But what I think um, we're doing right now is just completely groundbreaking. And by the way, guys, we sent an audition to Shark Tank, so we'll see what happens there. Um, so, again, I, I feel like we have uh... Brad, can you chime in for a sec? i got to take care of something real quick. You got it, yeah. you got it. So I see Lee is asking a question. It would be nice to be able to see the parameters generated in the AI alert. This is something that we do have planned uh, in the future. It's nothing that we're doing right at this point right now, uh, but we do have plans to have that have some visibility in the window. So Ashraf, I'm not, I'm not sure I understand your question. How much are we asking for it on ST? Oh, Shark Tank, I gotcha. Well, you'll just have to watch the episode. Hopefully we make it on. Yeah, if anyone has any questions at all, now's a great time to type them into the questions panel. So Brad and then Dan may gets back from taking care of his Susan, dogs. We're, we're, yeah, I'm, I'm back. We're not selling to Mr. Wonderful. But He'd like the royalty. Yeah, I think that um, it'd be kind of cool for us to go on the show. It's a win-win for us no matter what. Um, and I think we have a cool product uh, that Cuban and some of the other people might actually be able to promote in a relatively interesting way. Um, so what I said before, Brad, again, sorry about that uh, um, pause, was that just that there's nobody else that has a product 
that's really putting trades out there and putting the, the, the efficacy of those trades on the line. You're the only vendor, and Bloomberg doesn't do it. Bloomberg does not have a trading system that they're showing. Reuters doesn't do it. TradeStation doesn't do it. I mean, you can make one with TradeStation. That's a different thing altogether. I mean, you can hack up whatever thing you want. Um, but the only company in the world that has an AI that's telling you what to do, how to do it, and all the parameters and putting itself on the line, that's trade ideas right here. We're the only ones in the world that do it. And we're doing it because we feel like we have the best data in the world to be able to profit off of the market. And I think that's what ultimately I'm the most excited about. Um, Brad, what time do you think uh, the update tomorrow? I can't answer that. Um, at some point tomorrow, we should be getting an update. And if everything goes well with that update, then we will uh, we'll post it out to you guys. Okay, so David uh, Neville asked, can, can this be customized or can this be used for swing trading? Absolutely. So here's how this is used for swing trading. Swing trading, it's again, it's not a mythical or a magical thing. It's, it's simply the case of if you are up enough at the end of a trade where you don't feel like you need to exit, well, now you are in the swing category. It's that simple. So any trade that you are in, where, again, where it tells you to exit and you either take some off the table or you're like, you know what, I'm up so much or I'm up enough where I can change my stop, up that amount and you feel strong about it, you, you know, th then again, after the market closes, th there is no additional knowledge that anyone has about, about what's going to happen tomorrow. Yeah. So, okay, let's see, what's the next one? Gian, uh, I would like to ask how one uses this for day trading from pre-open to the close. What are the steps and where can I learn to use TI properly? I don't have AI. Okay, so first of all, um, you should sign up for a training session with Jamie. And we also have uh, not only training sessions, but we have office hours webinars. So now that I've kind of shown everybody, I mean, we spent a lot of time going over the best parts, the most interesting part of the tech. I'm going to kind of dive in a little bit into Gian's questions. Let me, I'm going to make sure everything's pinned. Okay, so you see my channel. Let's start. A lot of people start their morning just like this. So here's the pre-market. Before the market opened, I am on a channel, just like you know, you're watching CNN or whatever. Here's the gappers. This is what's you know going to be gapping up, and you know you'll be watching it if you want to all day long. And here's what's gapping down. Yeah, same thing. So this is the starting point. As soon as the market opens, I mean, and again, there's a reason why there's an order to this. We go right to social media. So the social media channel, and this is, again, what separates trade ideas from every other vendor, is that we not only take market data and create custom data off of that, but we also take what's called unstructured data, stock twits data, social data. So we're watching how many times people are talking about different stocks and looking at the unusual ones. So when things are being discussed unusually or that's a factor in some of the um, movement. And you can and this channel lets us really see what the heck is going on with you know with the very big social names. You know, where's something crazy going on? The IPOs perhaps. Um, here's the DGLY after hours got obliterated after having a huge run today. Here's NEFF that we I believe we talked about that one uh, from from the AI. So WTW the one that Oprah Weight Watchers from Oprah. I mean all this was being talked about quite a bit. I mean look at this opportunity that was pretty huge. So that's um, th that's part of the flow. Then we go to the search channel and the search channel really focuses on the volume and uh, especially volume that's instantly kind of coming in, okay? And that's where you can see, um, you know, stocks like DGLY, where just a huge amount of volume is coming in and pushing it higher. So what people do is they channel surf, okay? Now, there's a lot of cool channels. There's an earnings channel, okay? There's a channel for options uh, where stocks with the most options volume, you can see exactly what's going on there. 
um, we break it up into the winners. Any kind of everything that you want to know about winners, it's right here. Same thing with the losers. So there's just no other company that lets you go and through all of this like that. And remember, I didn't have to configure everything. And that's the really the big shift that we've made over the last two years. Whereas before we gave everybody the ability to do this, but you have to set it up yourself. What we're, we're, where we really shifted everything in trade ideas is moving away from that to kind of being like on autopilot, where the software is doing everything for you. You have channels, you can move, you can go to sectors. You know, you can see exactly what's going on. And, and again, from uh, energy to China, and you can see all sorts of different ways how we utilize our tech to configure everything. So, and and every single one of these windows is able to be uh, customizable. So you can create new ones. I'll, I'll give you an example. Here's a new alert window, and I know someone was asking about, do we have fundamental data? Of course. So you can go to the search tab and just type fun, and here you have all of the fundamental fields. And you can use different, um, you can use our custom formula editor to create variations on this. So we all, by the way, our artificial intelligence uses fundamental data in its assessment of what's working and what's not working. And that's one of the other things that's really good um, is that it kind of, it blends everything. You know, we aren't technical, we aren't fundamental, we are numbers driven. Okay, whatever it's working, if, if it was market cap and PE ratio, then that's what we would be adjusting. If it was, you know, five minute volume or options volume, that's what we would be adjusting. And that's what the AI is doing for you. We believe that this is the most efficient way to process market information and, and there is no other, especially since you don't have to input all this stuff. Like in today's screeners, like on Finviz, I mean, you have all this stuff, you have all these choices, but what good is it when you don't really know what's working? And that's where Trade Ideas kind of takes it to the next level. We are the ones that we're showing you where your attention needs to be. You know, And again, and the themes change from themes related to, like again, direction or type of trading to a, a type of person. So here we have just an active trading channel which is designed for people who are just more active in the market. So, you, so if you're kind of, let's say you're bored, all you have to do is make one click and you'll never be bored again. I mean, there's stuff going on on this channel all the time. And by the way, here's, you know, again, this, this is the stuff that we're looking for, you know. So advanced, it's active uh, here. So the other thing is at every, uh, so we have options, okay. And there's a lot of ways that you can set things up. And one of the things that Barry is probably talking about is when you right-click and configure, use advanced config window option. You can check it or uncheck it. So that brings up the windows the right way. Um, okay, let's see. Brad, are we? do you think we're good? I think we are. I think that was a pretty good review. I don't see any um, outstanding questions other than I did answer one in the chat where a gentleman was looking for a debt to asset ratio. And, and yeah. while we don't have that out of the box, that is something that you can set up through the use of the custom filters. Absolutely. So what we're going to do now, so again, this is a picture of, kind of what, somewhat what the version tomorrow is going to have, hopefully. Um, you know, the big thing, for those of you that are customers of ours already, we're super stoked to be working with you. And, and guys, we're, we're here to push the envelope. Very, very excited to have you participate with us. And as a result, um, so we, we kind of did something that was so popular, uh, we decided to bring it back. Um, but I want to really kind of talk about it a little bit first. Um, right. I think Scott, we should, we should wanna, talk about the product codes that's available uh, first, and then we'll talk about uh, the special, the real special. Right. So, so I, I think I'm on the product code. So why don't yeah. you jump in? Right? So, so what I'd like to do to thank everyone for coming is uh, give our, our non-subscribers or those of you who have not yet picked up the odds maker a good reason to do so um, uh, during this week. So there's a code up there that's highlighted. It's QAWEB11 or QAWEB11. 
and it's all caps, it's case sensitive, and what that does is it takes half off your first month. So if you want to try trade ideas, you Stop, know, did your audio just go? No. My, my audio should be okay. Brad, did Scott, Hello. Did audio die? Hello? Yeah, no, Scott, you sound fine. Okay, it's, it's uh, Dan. So like I was saying, um, you can use that code to take half off your first month. So if you're on the fence about trying trade ideas, there's no contract. You know, just pick it up for $49 your first month and, and come to the trading room, come to our webinars, come to Jamie's Trading Studio on Thursdays and office hours on Mondays. We'll get you off to a great start. Of course, it includes the one-on-one -on -one hour of training too. Uh, this will also take 24% off your first year, so you can get in on under 888. You can get in at 675 for a year. Great way to save a lot of money. Uh, it'll take 30% off the Lifetime Oddsmaker AI license. You can get AI and Oddsmaker for just 770 Lifetime. If you're going to use these codes, use them by the end of business on Friday. Uh, it will expire. And now I want to get to Dan's favorite part, what he already started talking about. Um, and w before we released the AI, we were having a combination package for 1088 that included Oddsmaker and uh, trade ideas, a full year of trade ideas and all the extras. Um, so it's back and uh, it's 1288 now because we have released the AI and we've proven it's real. And uh, this is how, what we're going to offer up until we release um, the AI version as a stable release. So we'll be running this for a while. Um, it's 1288. It includes your training, our power training, your full year of trade ideas that we knew is at 888 uh, and, and the lifetime AI odds maker license. Uh, all for only twelve eighty eight. So by doing that, you immediately save seven hundred dollars. If you are um, already a Trade Ideas subscriber and want to switch to this to save money by being on the annual and get the AI, just go ahead and do it, and we will turn off your monthly subscription for you. Uh, just email us info at tradeideas.com to let us know, and we're really happy to have this. I know Dan wants to talk about uh, talk about what a value this is. So yeah, Scott, thank you very much. I just want to, and you do a great job on all this. I wanted to really touch base that I had mentioned before. We've got some advice about the fact that, you know, we're probably grossly underpricing this. And I don't want to sound like a, a hack salesman. That's not what my intent here is. What I really want to make sure is that everybody who's thinking about it or understands what we're doing knows one thing. Number one, the AI is not a green light, red light, magic, money machine, goose that laid the golden egg, you know, get rich quick scheme. That does not exist, okay? But it is the best that you can do in today, in the world, with the stock market in terms of quantitative processing and odds-based investing, you know, evidence-based investing. That's what we're talking about. And if you think about what we're doing here, I mean, we're basically still giving it away for free because you have a lifetime access to it and the annual price is $888. So this is, this is, this is really done to usher in the early adopters, the people that are on the edge, uh, and to give you, um, you know, our way of saying thank you. But what I do want to say, too, is that if you don't, if you're, you know, if you're not sure, then there's no obligations. You do, guys do not. Whoever doesn't think this is for them, this is not for you. Then that's, that's what the that's monthly. What that's what the introductory month is for. You know, you can just get on that's for half off the first month and, and check us out. You know, come to our webinar. See, see that it's the real thing. Is it is? It's that's right. Stuff. There's just there's no obligation to participate in these kinds of promotions. This is for people that know that this is what they want to do. That this is what they want to commit to in, in terms of how they explore. Uh, the stock market, and that's why, again, you know, if you're doing it for that reason, then you should be doing this. this is the best tech that's out there. Um, but we want to, but we don't want anybody who isn't certain. So that's really all that I wanted to say, Scott. Yeah, and um, I actually forgot to mention that there's a handout for you that has the link and everything. You can type it into your browser. That's bit.ly. It's a shortened Bitly link slash capital S-A-V-E 700, that'll get you there. But if you look at the handouts panel in your go to webinar interface there, there's a PDF that has these two slides uh, with the product code and the expiration date of the product code and the link to get the 1288 combo. Just, you know, do that. If you have any questions about it at all, just email info at trade ideas and, and we'll explain it. Uh, info at is our support uh, email, by the way. That goes directly to our support desk software. 
So either Marissa will help you out or it'll get routed to Brad or Dan or myself or Barry and we'll um, and the correct person will answer your question. Um, again, thank, thanks uh, everybody. Let me, let me address Leon uh, real quick. Leon, um, we didn't get to that today. You know, we only have an hour and we don't want to have people spend too much time in front of a computer. Again, we know how valuable your time is, but we have we have other educational webinars like Jamie's office hours. And if you sign up for that, we will definitely pass on your request where people talk about where there will be a real estate section. I think that's a great section, and uh, there's a lot to learn about that. We've been talking about that, but that's one of the most important things to know how to do. So that's a great question, and Jamie will definitely uh, help with that. Yeah, exactly. So if you have any more questions, info at tradeideas.com is our support email. Uh, you can also contact Dan on Twitter or follow him. He's Trade Ideas one Our other Twitter account is Trade Ideas. Follow us on Facebook. We occasionally put up some promotions, some contests on social media that we don't uh, talk about in our other channels. Uh, so it's good to kind of follow us everywhere. You know, Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is recorded. It'll be available on YouTube by tomorrow. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Cheers. Have a good one. Uh, I'll be helping out in Jamie's trading room tomorrow, so trading studio, so be sure to sign up for that. I'm sure you've gotten the emails. You might get another one later. Thanks, guys. Thank you.